For those of you who've been watching my shows from the beginning, you'll know that I also write novels, uh, in this case mystery stories, um, murder mystery stories. And the last few weeks I haven't been making videos because I've been in the process of doing my editing for the most recent book I'm working on. And uh, I was able to send that off to my editor so that they can get started on their part of the process. But in the meantime, I got really busy, so I haven't had a chance to work on any of the projects or make videos for that reason. But today, we're going to go ahead and dive into a new project that came about because I went to the swap meet here locally uh, in Central Oregon a few weeks ago, and I got some fun new parts. So I decided to make another car with some of the parts I got from the swap meet, as well as some items I had lying around already. So we're going to go ahead and dive into a couple of time lapses I've got for... Uh, putting together the header on this engine behind me as well as setting up the frame rails on this setup behind me. And after those uh, time lapses, we'll go ahead and talk about the parts we've got. So first off, we've got ourselves a four-cylinder, 1.8-liter Isuzu motor. Came out of an old love truck. And behind it, the matching transmission, a four-speed manual transmission. And behind that, we've got a rear axle out of same love truck. Now these items together kind of give me a base of what I wanted to use for the drivetrain on this little project. And the frame, as you saw in the time lapse just a few moments ago, is made out of running boards off of like a newer Jeep. I like the look of the frame, or the running boards, I should say. <laughs> they have a nice design to them. So they made good frame rails and they're a nice thick material. And I capped them off in the front with a piece of uh, square, or excuse me, rectangular tubing. And same in the rear. And that gives us the basic frame profile for this little car. Now, these items all together give us our drivetrain and our frame, and the inspiration behind all that is these items over here that I was able to acquire from the local swap meet. First off is this grill shell, which is off of a like 1923 Willys Overland which is pretty cool. So I got this item, which as we can see, will now fit the front of the frame rail here. So that'll be a pretty cool look. And then I also got this set of doors. Not really sure exactly what they're from. Probably 20s, 30s, something like that. But they're a nice set of matching doors. Good sheet metal on them. So between the doors and this grill shell, I feel like I've got a good starting point. I also found a couple of wire wheels here that are uh, like an 18-inch wire wheel, old 1920s, 1930s style. And I have this cowl piece that I've had for a while. I believe if it, it might be off of a Dodge or something like that. Not 100% sure. But between 
the cow, the doors, the grill shell, and the wire wheels. That kind of inspired me to build a car. And I happen to have the rear axle drive line transmission and engine to be able to put a car together. So the idea behind this is to make a really compact little vehicle, nice little rat rod that's gonna be a lot of fun to drive. So now that I've got the parts and pieces kind of mocked up for the frame and the chassis here, we're gonna go ahead and start attaching parts like the grill shell and the cowl to the frame so we can get an idea of what this is gonna look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump back into some work on this and we'll look at some time lapses of me attaching those parts and then we'll talk about it after. So now the grill shell is mounted with the four screws, two on each side. And I drilled a little lower first, but then decided I wanted the grill to sit up taller. So I drilled another set above to bring that up. And then I tack welded that cowl piece in place. And then after that, I tacked the doors in place and chopped them. So that was a seven inch chop that I used in this particular case. And the roof will actually be a little bit taller <clears throat> than what you see here. Um, there'll actually be like a step part that goes up and then over, and that'll allow for a taller windshield as well. But right now that kind of gives us a pretty good idea overall of what we're gonna have to work with for some of the main lines on this. And I'm thinking that for the back part of the body, after these doors, I'll go ahead and narrow the body in toward the back of the car, which will kind of give it a nice shape. And then I also did a modification on that shifter so that it has a little bit more of a comfortable position inside the cab. And that concludes all the fabrication for today. Got quite a bit of stuff done. Got that header built, got the frame built, and then got this body all tacked together, at least the parts we have so far. And that's a really good start to this project. Now that I know where all the body pieces are, the main ones anyway, I can go ahead and determine how I'm going to set up my engine mounts here in the front as well as the transmission mount here in the middle. And I'll probably move that transmission mount from the rearward position to the one forward of it so it'll line up better with these two existing braces on the rails for the frame. And then eventually this rear cross member will be notched to give clearance for that differential. But for now, until the suspension is set up, I just have that sitting there to get an idea where things are going to go. So this makes for a pretty tiny little car. Now the front suspension will actually sit forward of the grill shell. I'm going to do a solid axle on it with uh, quarter elliptical style springs, which we'll dive into later on down the road, but that'll give it a little bit of a longer look to it. And if you step back and kind of look at the overall lines, it's gonna be a pretty wild little car. 
So, now that we've gotten all that fabrication stuff done for today and put together a car from a pile of parts, essentially, let's uh, talk about a little bit of why I decided to do this. Well, firstly, I have a lot of things that I've acquired over the last several years, parts and pieces of different cars, and I'm doing some property cleanup this year. So I'm getting rid of a lot of things. And in the process of getting rid of stuff, I decided that I wanted to build something with the last few good parts that I have before I get rid of the things I don't need anymore. So I went to the swap meet, I found some more parts, and I decided to build a car with it. And it's fun. It's a way of making something new out of a bunch of recycled things. And uh, just something cool to do and something different. Uh, I don't like to just stick with the same project all the time. I like to jump around a little bit. Keeps things interesting. So I will continue to work on the Eldorado and my other projects as well. And we'll dive into some of the projects that uh, I haven't showed you yet that are already vehicles I drive around. Um, but in the meantime, it's nice to do little things like this. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm also a writer, so in the fall I'm usually pretty busy trying to get books together for the publisher and my editor. Um, so that book series, if you're interested in it, is called uh, Harvey Havoc, and um, you can look under Harvey Havoc um, and my name, Avery Bell, if you'd like to find the books in that series. There are five of them published so far, and I'm currently working on the sixth, which will hopefully be out before Christmas this year. So that's probably going to do it for today, um, and we'll dive into something new next time. Um, maybe a little bit more on this, maybe more on the Eldorado. Who knows? Uh, but until then, have a good one, and we'll see you next time.